This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Today's discussion is five stories that we're following today, and these hit a variety of different subjects, so please bear with me. Uh, first, Disney is even year to date. Uh, this was supposed to be the great comeback of Bob Iger, who, who basically got rid of his successor and brought himself back. Now he's back to looking for the next successor. Uh, being the next successor to Bob Iger is like being the next successor to Joseph Stalin. You better watch your back. But in any event, Disney is still struggling and uh, up uh, even down about 1% year to date and not quite moving in the right direction yet. Uh, second, Kamala Harris constantly trying to figure out this right spot to approach the electorate is now saying that she's not going to ban fracking. Of course, fracking was one of these things that the progressive left absolutely hates. And in fact, you see Kamala try and tilt back towards the middle as she works towards getting elected. Third, on the political scene, President Trump, you know, the latest is he's deadly serious about tariffs. And again, tariffs are also just, to me, overall horrendous public policy, long-term trade policy. If we want to have peace in the world, we better have trade in the world. This concept of constant batting down the hatches with trade wars to me is an absolutely horrendous thing. Um, if 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 Bob Iger's not the comeback kid of the year, Mark Benioff, our four story, is probably the comeback com- kid of the year and the constantly comeback genius. Really a brilliant person. I put him in the same category in comebacks as Michael Dell. Here's two folks that have driven this so hard with so much success for so long. Uh, Mark took one short period away from total leadership at Salesforce. That didn't go very well. He came back and has done really, really well. Uh, The the stock is still down about 4% year to date. But at the end of the day, uh, Salesforce performing well and still in great shape. And and, and that's where sort of they're at. Uh, Howard Schultz, along the same lines, came back to take over Starbucks again. Uh, now they brought in they brought in another guy. Then they brought in the guy from Chipotle. The Chipotle the guy leaving Chipotle has caused Chipotle to go down almost. Um, you know, it, it, it's gone down almost twenty five cents since he left. They should have promised that guy burritos and burrito bowls for life to keep him. Uh, just a shame what's going on there. Starbucks gain was Chipotle's loss. Uh, those are oh you know, the fifth story we're following today is impulse control in golf. And, and here's what a, a um, I don't know what the phrase is, what a moron I am. You know, I had surgery out of golf for almost uh, you know, a month or two. I came back like I almost never played the game before in my life. And, and what I'm finding as I come back that I can't hit a thing. So I did the only thing that a good golfer can do. And this is besides blaming your partner for losing bets today. I ended up in a spot where I went and bought a new club. And and this seems to be the answer to all problems in golf is to go buy another club. That's my fifth story today. I know well enough that I need a 12-step program to stop buying golf clubs, but I couldn't help myself. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Those are five of the stories that we're following today. Again, Bob Iger's DS Disney, nothing going too great. Uh, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris. Now pro fracking and absolutely insane to watch that change of position or positional discussion. Donald Trump pro tariffs, also absolutely insane long term foreign policy. So those are two whammies for those two presidential candidates. It, no offense, anybody was a fan of either of those. Better comeback stories. Mark Benioff, their stocks up sixty percent over the last five years. Intel also struggling and trying to have a comeback there, but not quite there yet. Howard Schultz did lead a pretty good comeback at Starbucks. He's now gone. They've now put on the Chipotle guy, but we'll see how that goes. But at least their stock is is promising on that news. And then impulse control and golf. Good luck with that. I struggle. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast.